Local forecast every 10 minutes on the tens, only on the Weather Network. Road conditions, 21 and 51 minutes past the hour, only on the Weather Network. And we're taking a look now at your long-range forecast Wednesday, right to the end of the week. We're always optimistic here, right? We begin Monday and we start to tell you about Friday. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Across Ontario and across Man... <laughs> and across Manitoba, we are looking at sunshine for most areas of the country. Except for southern BC, the interior, we have some scattered showers. Now stop that. Cloudy skies in southern Alberta, and we have that system still moving across southern Quebec and southern Ontario. So we're also going to see lots of snow in Labrador. So for those of you in Goose Bay, look out. For Thursday, that system, again, moving slowly, but across Labrador with snow and freezing rain. So a good two days of that stuff. Southern Ontario, cloudy skies, and we have some clouds across eastern prairies. And again, we're going to see a lot of precipitation across BC, the coast, and the interior due to another low pressure system. And for Friday, we have still some active weather in Labrador again, southern Ontario, cloudy, and uh, some snow tapering off into Manitoba, and another system will remove through the BC coast with some you scattered seem showers. You seem a little far away from me, Scott. I don't know what it is. Basically, temperatures across the country are going to remain mild from Wednesday right into Friday, looking at temperatures well above seasonal, so enjoy the week. We could see some wet stuff, but it's still mild, You right? get the best camera shots. On the Weather Network, these highway conditions for your region are brought to you by CAA. Remember, there are so many ways to use CAA. This legend indicates the color codes used throughout this report. The code for visibility appears behind the indicated route number. The information for the Weather Network's road report comes from the Provincial and Territorial Highway Departments and from the Alberta Motor Association. The time shown indicates when the last report was filed for each region. All highways are listed by the official provincial number. The legend at the top of each page indicates the color codes used throughout this report. Remember that the code for visibility appears in the box behind the actual route number. This report on road conditions is a public safety presentation from Canada's Weather Network. Anchor off the coast of the coast coast of Wales has You're run aground. <laughs> no help, eh? Has run aground for the third time and leaving 400 tons of crude oil in the sea. We'll have more on that on Earthwatch News. And it looks like tomorrow there will be fog in the morning, mm -hmm. so that may hamper things a little bit across uh, the coast of uh, Welsh, the Welsh coast. And also to London, we're looking at heavy fog there, and the same for Scotland. Otherwise, we have stormy conditions over Italy. very hot in southern America. We're looking at temperatures in Rio getting up to 35, 36 
again, very hot and dry. Which, of course, is typical for this time of year. But mm -hmm. on the other side, usually we have temperatures between 30 and 35 in Australia. Not so. There's a reprieve right now. We're seeing cooler conditions throughout. Stay with us. Your ski conditions next. Now, on the Weather Network, a look at ski conditions for your area. Brought to you by Blistex, the lip care specialists. The conditions in this report are for the specific ski centers listed. With each ski center, you'll also find the number of runs open and snow accumulation for the past 24 hours. The information in this report is prepared by MRG Limited or the Weather Network. This is an Earthwatch News Brief, and I'm Tara Black. At least 63 people are dead as a result of a strong earthquake in Indonesia. Saturday's 7.5 tremor triggered tidal waves that washed away more than 2,000 houses on the island of Biak. Those who lost their homes were spending the night in makeshift camps. An oil tanker off the Welsh coast has run aground for the third time. A team of 21 salvage workers was evacuated from the stricken tanker as it grounded on rocks in rough weather. Tons of crude oil spilled from the vessel is endangering rare wildlife on the coastline. And a major snowstorm battered parts of northwestern Europe. In Denmark, two meters of snow fell in some places. By contrast, the Netherlands got a mere 10 centimeters, but that was enough to cause hundreds of accidents. And a word of warning from Ontario's Labour Ministry, check those roofs. Heavy snow accumulations in northern Ontario this winter have led to the collapse of four. <laughs> well, we sort of see ourselves. Sort of. Are we on the air? I guess. <laughs> well, you'd like to say something about our sunshine destination? Yes. Sun sunshine into New Orleans. Right. Oh, it's a Big day, day on day. Tuesday. Beautiful day. Hope you enjoy it if you're there. the Caribbean if you're heading there for a vacation spot. Again, temperatures up to about 30 degrees Celsius for the entire Caribbean and also into Florida and Texas it's very hot. Hey, Dad. Hey, this is the CF-104 Starfighter. Did you know that was the first supersonic jet used by the Canadian Air Force? How did you know that? I know where there's a real one. Can we go see it? Let your imagination soar. Come to the National Aviation Museum in Ottawa. We're looking at some active weather in through central Canada for your Tuesday afternoon. Some light showers. A risk for... A, 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 <laughs> Take two. A risk of a heart attack by your host. <laughs> No, seriously, we have freezing rain. There's a possibility of freezing rain in the morning, but it's going to be rain all afternoon as temperatures go above zero. As a matter of fact, in Toronto to Windsor, we have rain right now. So the risk of freezing rain, less likely at this hour. Okay, great. Stay with us. We've got your complete national weather picture up in just a moment.
this would be your national forecast. Right now, we start with a look at the jet stream for Tuesday. Let's take a look as it moves from the Oregon coast up towards the prairie, central prairies, that is, then across northern Ontario, and then straight through to Labrador. So that's why the mild air will continue to sit over southern Ontario, southern Quebec, and some strong southerly winds will bring in some warm conditions across southern Saskatchewan, southern Alberta, and the interior of B.C. Now the forecast. First of all, I want to talk about two lows that will build in across Ontario and Quebec in the next few hours. We already have some rain in the southwest of Ontario. And through the day, showers should continue. Again, risk of freezing rain where temperatures will be around zero. Of course, that would include southeastern Ontario, Ottawa Valley, especially Montreal, and into Sherbrooke. And again, for northeastern Ontario, risk of freezing rain there and snow showers by the afternoon. No major accumulations, however. The only place that could see some accumulations will be north of Randaranda, actually, towards James Bay, and that'll be about it. Northern Ontario clearing, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, mostly clear skies with a few clouds in the sky because of this thing. But again, chance of rain, 10, 20 percent, and that's about it. Southern Saskatchewan, southern Alberta clearing, and yes, the fog should lift by midday in Calgary as we get a westerly flow developing in from the Rockies, and that, of course, will push the fog away, and then we've got milder air to follow. Two lows will bring overcast skies to all of British Columbia, west of the Rockies and well into the coast. And we're expecting scattered showers to the south, scattered snow showers, Prince George and North, both the interior and the coast. And again, very mild. Their daytime highs, mild across southern Saskatchewan, southern Alberta, and southern B.C. Tara. Thanks, Scott. And we'll be back to check out all your current conditions from coast to coast right now. Here's a look at your Tuesday afternoon forecast for major cities coast to coast. <laughs> Five months of winter. Just what I needed. I gotta get out of here. Don't just dream about it. Enter the Weather Network's Dream No More Vacation Contest and you can win one of five tropical trips for two, plus one week's car rental from Budget Rent-A-Car. Fly Canada 3000 to an Allegra Resort all-inclusive dream destination, courtesy of Signature Vacations. Look for entry coupons in your cable television bill or send your name, address, and phone number to this address. Don't just dream about it. Do it! St. John's may be the oldest town in North America and the most eastern part of the continent, but it also has the distinction of being Canada's weather champion. The capital of Newfoundland is officially the foggiest, windiest, cloudiest, wettest, and snowiest of all major Canadian cities. About 360 centimeters of snow usually falls each year on the city. But with winter daytime temperatures hovering just under the zero degree mark, the city still has one of the mildest winters in Canada. It is currently minus 2 in both Montreal and Toronto, minus 6 in Ottawa, and a plus 2 in through Windsor. Now, those temperatures are well above normal for this time of the year, and to get sky conditions to go along with those temperatures, here's Scott Sims. And all we do is simply point at the map to show you all the sky conditions across Ontario and also for the southern prairies. To the south coast of B.C., we have much the same. As you can see, lots of active weather brewing in the western regions of North America. But now we turn to the B.C. coast. Most of the rain currently is falling over Vancouver Island. That's now beginning to build in across the Georgia Strait and moving to English Bay and Vancouver. And the, all of the lower mainland should see some showers in the next little while. And for the interior, we have cloudy skies. To the north and central coast, we also have cloudy conditions. And we have some showers developing there and some snow showers into the Gulf of Alaska. And we also have some light snow into the southern Yukon, southwestern Yukon towards uh, Whitehorse. Alberta right now is mainly clear, but we do have fog reported in Calgary. We have some uh, less fog in towards Edmonton, but that's why we have the weather advisory tonight for Calgary and uh, parts around Calgary. We're looking at, of course, um, fog throughout the evening and in the morning hours, but by late in the morning, that fog should disappear because of a westerly flow. And there you see that westerly flow brought to you by the jet stream. The southern areas, we still have some cloud, and as you can see, the moisture here is being pulled towards the B.C. coast. So it is going to be quite rainy for the next two or three days, gray and wet throughout all of southern B.C., both the interior and the coast. And again, it's very active in California. Now, for the prairies right now, it's mainly clear. It's still fairly mild in both provinces here. 
strong southerly winds are also beginning to develop. And speaking of winds in eastern Manitoba and northwestern Ontario, we have some strong winds in the region right now. To the north, we have some cloud. We have some scattered snow showers mixed in with this activity. And for northeastern Ontario, overcast, but this system is moving in this direction. All the active stuff should be in northeastern or sorry, south. Uh, western Quebec in the next little while and low cloud over across southern Ontario. It's active here just north of Lake Erie with warmer temperatures. Thanks Scott and we'll be back with a look at all your Tuesday afternoon conditions. Right now here's a look at all the latest conditions in your area. Don't go away. <laughs> And Tuesday will continue to be a mild day across the country. Some places will see temperatures above seasonal, and some will be hovering around the seasonal mark, but nobody will go below. We are looking at some wet weather in through British Columbia and in through central Canada. Scott will fill you in on all the details. Several low pressure systems across the west. Uh, right now we have the small one moving in from the Pacific and that's going to provide scattered showers for Tuesday afternoon. As a matter of fact, for Vancouver Island, the showers are happening right now, so it's going to continue for at least 24 hours. And temperatures remain mild. There is a southerly airflow moving in from just off the coast to Seattle and Washington State, and that's why we have uh, the warmer air. A few breaks in the cloud for the afternoon, but one thing I stress is that it's more cloud than sun, so the greater, there is a greater chance of precipitation. We're looking at a 30-40% chance of a light shower, so if you're planning to go out in these areas, Kamloops, Kelowna especially, bring an umbrella just in case, so it's highly likely you might see some of those light showers. And of course, a greater chance of showers in the higher elevations, Revelstoke, Golden, Castlegar, Cranbrook, in these areas, you will definitely see some scattered showers for the afternoon. Fort St. John, a possibility of wet snow, but again, a few breaks in there as we have mixed conditions. Cloudy skies all day in Prince Rupert and Whitehorse with the chance of light snow here, a good chance of showers here. And again, temperatures are going down in Northwest Territories. For Mackenzie Valley, we're looking at cloudy skies, light snow, greater amounts of snow north of the Great Slave Lake, and that, of course, includes Yellowknife. Cloudy in Edmonton with a little bit of morning fog, some patchy fog there, and thick fog in the morning for Calgary. That will lift by afternoon as the westerly winds move in to push all that fog away, and we have variable skies with a little chance of precipitation. Clear skies all day in Saskatchewan, temperatures mild, some 8, 9, 10 degrees above normal for southern Manitoba, it's sunny, and again, a little on the cool side, but a little above seasonal. Kenora Thunder Bay, clear skies again, and snow showers, they'll be at their heaviest in the morning, beginning to taper off in the afternoon. Thanks, Scott. Now that was a look at Tuesday. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday coming up in our long-range forecast, and it's all coming up in two minutes' time. <laughs> I'm Andy Poplowski, the news director here at the Weather Network. You know, in television, a good cameraman is an invaluable member of the team that brings us the pictures and stories that you tune in to see every day. We'd like you to join our team. We're looking for videos about weather, so pick up your camera and shoot for the Weather Network. Send us your cassette by courier, and if we use it, we'll pay you $100. Plus, all tapes received will be eligible for a monthly draw of a Sony Disman and our grand prize of Sony's top-of-the-line Hi8 camera. So keep watching the Weather Network and keep your camera rolling.